What's up guys, Alex here, GuitarForce.com. So as you can see today, we're gonna to take a look at a song called All Your Love. And this song was covered by many different artists and also bands, uh, including uh, the Blues Breakers, Steve Ray Vaughan, and also Gary Moore. Uh, but originally, if I'm not mistaken, it was written by uh, either Otis Rush or Magic Sam. I'm not really sure 100%. If you know, please uh, leave your answer in the comment section below. Uh, but, um, uh, we're going to take a look at uh, Gary Moore's version in this lesson and uh, this was requested and supported by longtime supporter Tom so huge thanks goes out to him for the support and in this lesson we're going to take a look at uh, rhythm guitar parts only of the song the lesson on the solo is going to be on a separate video and when it's available you can find the link in the description box down below also, if you would like to get the full lesson with all of the parts, but also including the uh, tabs, the backing track and the full playthrough, uh, you can find it, it at guitarforce.com. The link is also going to be in the description box down below. And uh, also the uh, backing track and the tabs separately can be found at the site as well. Uh, I will also post the link to the uh, cover playthrough of the song, which is going to be available on my other channel. For the sound, I was using the same thing, the VST plugin guitar rig. I'm going to show you the picture of the, of the preset right now. And we're going to be in standard tuning. While you're checking out the picture of the preset, I'm going to play you my low E string so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. All right, so now let's go for the close up and start the lesson. All right, so as usual, we're going to break up this song into parts. We're going to start off with the intro. First, I'm going to play through, then we're going to break it down. So it goes like this. So here we have this uh, kind of motif riff that we play throughout the uh, chord progression. So it's basically a, uh, a blues, 12 bar blues in A minor. So A minor, D minor, back to A minor, E minor, D minor, e, A minor. Okay, so starts off with the slide out just on the lower strings and then we go into this uh, kind of motif riff like I said which is based on on this figure so what we do here we just simply slide using the pick on the higher strings of the of the guitar it doesn't really matter the first second third uh, but it's on the higher strings uh, that the slide is made so from around 12th fret or something like that, just uh, moving the pick across the strings, like that. And then we go into this lick. So here on the G string, we have bend it up, bring it down, 7th fret, pull off on the D, 7th fret, then we go back to G5, and then 7 on D, and adding some vibrato. So that's uh, the, uh, the riff uh, for, for this part. So in A we do it twice, uh, then we go, uh, when we go to the D minor chord, again we do, we do the, the riff. And here we're sliding into the D note, the 7th fret on the G string. Add some vibrato and then back to the riff. Two times. And now we go to the E minor, we have... So here we do three unison bends. So B string, 5th fret and we're bending G 7th fret. First is a longer one. And then we have two more, then we bring down to the 7th fret, slide out, and then we're back to the riff again. And then in the end, to finish off this um, section, we just hit the A minor chord, A minor or A minor 7, 
doesn't really matter. Just hitting this uh, chord, slide down. And then we go into the next section. So that was um, the intro part with this motif riff. All right, so then we go into the verses, and during the verses, the guitar is uh, the overdrive is uh, a little bit lower, uh, so it's a little bit cleaner guitar and also a little bit quieter. So here we also have uh, this riff that is going on. So the main riff is going to go like this. <laughs> So here what we do, we play the, uh, again, part of the A minor chord. So we hit it once, it's a dotted eighth note, and then uh, cut it off again with a sixteenth note, the same chord, the same triad, like that. Then we have a little rest, and then we play these notes. So the A string 7th fret, little rest, and then... Again, this note going to the D string, 5 to 7. Adding some vibrato. And uh, when we stay on the A chord, we play this riff. Then when we go to the D, simply taking the same, same approach and we move up to the D chord, so here. So we play it once and then back again to the A. In E minor we have... So here slightly different, so again we hit the chord. Uh, just a quarter note here, little rest, then we have... Slide into the E notes on the low E, 12th fret, then we have... Kind of a little bit palm muted here, so have 10th fret on uh, uh, A string and then going down chromatically 12, 11, 10 on uh, the low E string. So all together. Adding some vibrato in the end. And then back to the, uh, to the previous riff again. And actually after the turn around we have so we play the, the riff in A and then we hit again the A minor chord and we slide out. So that's pretty much for the, uh, for the verse. Um, I'm going to play through the whole section, all of the parts together. I'm going to go like this. So after the first verse we go right into the second one and we do exactly the same as we did with the first one. Uh, so we're going to move on to the next section which is the bridge section. First I'm going to play it through then we're going to break it down so it goes like this. Alright, so in this section we have uh, kind of two parts. So the first one we play um, a little melody here which is based on the A minor chord, but we just play the uh, first three strings. So we have high E12, B13 and G14. And we have a specific pattern that we play here. So we go G, B, G, high E, G, B, G, high E and back to the G and we let it ring out. And also we have uh, uh, slides into that first note. Okay, so that's the figure. So when we're in A, uh, we're following the uh, blues progression again. So when we're in A, we play two times.
Yeah. Then third time. But here we go to the D minor chord now, so we play the triads of the D. 10th fret on the first three strings. Then back again to the melody. And then once again we have... So now we go for the turnaround for the uh, E minor. So after the, uh, the melody figure we go to the E minor. Stay on this triad, so 12th fret, and then we have uh, chromatically 12, 11, 10, same triad. And then in the end we have so G string 7th fret, bend it up, bring it down, pull off, then we go to the D string 7, 5, 7. And sliding out of uh, that last note, 5th uh, fret on the on a D string. So that's it pretty much for this uh, break uh, section and after that we go right into the solo. Alright so right after the solo we go back to playing the next verse and pretty much 95% of it is exactly the same. There are a couple of variations that Gary plays so we're gonna go through them. So the first part again we have second one So here just adding this uh, after the uh, the E notes on the A string we have So just going 5 7 on D and then we have this uh, a lick G string bending up bring it down pull off then going to the D string so Like that then we move on to the D chord it's exactly the same as we did previously, then going back to the A, here we have also another variation, so we have... So after the chord, we have a double stop here, maybe it's played unintentionally, but uh, A and D string, 7th fret, and then we have... So here, uh, kind of arpeggiating the chord, so we have uh, 7, A, 5, D, 5, G, and back to that note, to the A note. And for the E minor we have the same thing as we did previously. And for the A. Again finishing off with the slide out of the chord. There we go. Alright, so after this part we go into the next one and here we go into a swing feel and we play the riff here, so the riff itself goes like this. So that's the riff, two notes on the low E fifth fret, A notes, then we have 7 on D, 7 on A, and then 5 7 on the D string. That's the first time, and then the second. So instead of playing the A note here, 7th fret, we just play the E note on the 7th uh, fret of the A string. That's it. So in A we play it for two times, and then for the D we do the same thing, just uh, moving it up here. Back to A. For the turnaround, we go to the E, so here in this position, D, and then we have. So here using triplets for the whole bar for four beats, just the part of the A minor chord on the highest strings, triplets like I said. Then we slide out, then we go back to playing the riff again. But this time we play it more openly, kind of more, uh, with more distortion. So it's exactly the same thing, we just move through the uh, blues progression, so D. Exactly the same thing. 
and uh, in the end again we have the triplets on the chord hit it uh, the last time going into the next bar and then we return to the uh, to the intro riff which is so that riff uh, we play it until the end it's pretty much the same uh, there are uh, slight changes there so I'm gonna play through and where it's uh, it's gonna be a change uh, in lick I'm gonna show it to you so first one exactly the same so here he just adds uh, two sixteenth notes here like that then the next part so here we have uh, when we go to the G string 7th fret with the bend then we have again bending bringing down pull off to 5 go into the 7th fret on uh, the D string like that then the next part again the same and uh, then we come to the turnaround for the E minor it's uh, slightly different so it goes like this alright so here after the first part of the riff then we go again into the unison bend here but then we have so G string 7th fret bend it up and then go to the B 8 to 6 7th fret on the G slides out and then we add this lick so 5 7 G string bend it up bring down pull off and then back again to the 7th fret on the D string so all together one more time and then we go into the A minor again chord but here we go into the ending and the ending goes like this we just play a few licks so uh, the uh, lick itself goes like this all right so here the lick starts off on the off beat so we have one and then on the one end we start playing the lick so high E string, 8th fret, bend it up, bring it down, then 5th fret, then we have, so here pre-bend on the 7th fret on the G string, pre-bend, bring it down, 5, and then 7 D, 7 A, 5 on the D string, slide out, so. And then we have a little rest and hitting the chord, the A minor and now things slow down and uh, uh, Gary's playing this figure so just like we did in a, in a bridge uh, we do the same but slower and then we have the ending lick which goes like this Alright, so here we have B string pull off 8 to 5. Then we go to the G string 8, 7, 5, the blue scale. Again, we have this uh, rolling motion with one finger 7D, 7G back to 7D. Then we have so 5 to 7 on A, 5 on uh, D string. And then we have slide from 7 to 5, pull off to the 3rd on the A string. Back to the 5th fret and then we have... So here, 5 on the low E, 3rd fret on the A, back to the 5th fret on low E, and then 2 on A, 3 on low E, sliding to the A note on the 5th note, on the 5th fret. Like that. So all together, slowly, the whole lick is gonna go like this. Add some vibrato on the last note, on the A note, and then to finish off the song, we hit the A minor chord part of it, 
and we slide out and that's how we end the song. So the whole ending is gonna go like this. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was it for this lesson. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment, share, subscribe if you are new to my channel. Don't forget to visit guitarforce.com for more guitar lessons. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.